Hey everyone, I'm so sorry uh, about the sound, that it's uh, bad, but I don't have any better because my audio interface is coming home tomorrow, so, um, today, uh, or as usual, tonight, uh, we're, or I'm going to show you um, some of the most expensive apps in the App Store uh, for Symbian, of course, because Symbian is my favorite. Um, so, uh, well, as you may know, my, um, my phone has been a little laggy, um, all, like always, and finally there's an app for that, um, this, uh, this app called, uh, what's it called, S- PUB uh, shell, mo mobile shell, and uh, it, it it's pretty expensive, but it replaces your your menus and the the main interface of your phone. So you uh, you have like it's like a mix of the iPhone, Android, and Symbian all together. So uh, well, here it is sort of kind of nice uh, you, you can have up to five home screens like this and you put apps on it uh, for example well here's the application manager um, like you, you, you just keep all your apps there and yeah some fun stuff just and and my my daily apps here I don't really know why I have bright light here but it's it's a great app. It's just light. Um, uh, and then we can go and, and oh, this this app is two hundred and fifty Swedish, so it's pretty expensive. And the price is almost the same in every currency, really. Um, but well. Yeah, you see, it's it's a very nice interface, and it doesn't lag. That's the most important. We can start here. This is also a home screen app, Spark. Uh, it's a beta, but I, I I tried it, and it was really bad because um yeah, because it it didn't flow down good, and it really yeah, it really lagged. You see, it's it's slow. It's very slow. So I don't like this one. Or it's, I mean, it's a good effort, but it just doesn't work. You can see here, uh, weather, uh, your recent apps here, uh, um, and then you can scroll down, but it, it's really slow really really slow and you what's nice with it is that it's both uh, Facebook and Twitter uh, compatible so uh, all of your s such stuff appears here on your home screen well I think I'm actually gonna I'm gonna I think I'm gonna quit oh this is also it's quite uh, like the Android or the HTC, um, what's it called? The interface for HTC uh, phones. Sense. It's quite like Sense, but it's laggier. So, um, and here we have another expensive app, Gravity. It's a Twitter and Facebook app, um, and it's it's really it's a, it's a really good app, but it just isn't worth uh, like 11 euros. Um, if I go online here, I can show you. Oh. Tell me, I don't have any connection when I have. Um, this app, on the other hand, isn't laggy at all. Um, so it's on really smooth and nice. Uh, so here's my Twitter account, and you can see all the stuff here. 
and if you say you want to click a link uh, you can just yeah you can choose it here um, you can go back and you, you come to your profile your inbox and stuff um, and Facebook is the same just tap and you have all all the posts here and the comments uh, are in red yeah I know this it's, it's very nice very very precise um, but it's 110 I think Swedish so it's if you're a really big Facebook fan or Twitter geek you should get it otherwise not um, moving further we have magic brush uh, light this is a light version but whatever uh, I don't know how many of you that actually play this HDMI 5 thing that was on the internet uh, some time ago like you you have some tools that you can draw with the really cool ones um, so say here um, I want I want to draw something cool I'm gonna pick out the stylus that will make it a lot easier uh, that's one of the main benefits with a uh, resistive screen, by the way, um, that you can use a stylus if you want to draw. Like this, it's a mirror. Someone else is drawing <laughs> on the other side. So you can create really nice stuff with this, and... Like, I don't know. Type things and make them look cool. Oh, that's... That looks like a, a bunny. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty. And, and you have other tools as well. As like, like this, uh, like this long fur, you can actually make really nice um, light. Um, I don't know. It's it's very good for drawing sun behind someone and make it look really professional. Like it's it's a really good good one. Um yeah, so that's that. And finally we come to my personal favorite. It's not very special at all. It's soccer bounce. Which isn't really that terrific, but it's just, it just is so fun. I really, I can sit all day with this. I can just throw away the company and hello. I'll play, play this instead. It's kind of hard really, but it's it's nice whoops I failed you're just gonna just gonna tap it like that but if you tap too late or you tap on the ball or too early you lose so I actually have a better uh, record uh, competition is I'll call myself two. It's harder because then you have to keep it inside the screen as well. But that's a nice app. Um, and well, the last thing I'd like to say about the shell would then be that when when you're well, first of all, you can use the home screen uh, in landscape mode like this. Uh, which you can't with a native native one um, and another big plus is that y if you get tired of this um, this uh, background you can just change but you can also ch choose from an online catalog like this it's, it's a gallery with some really cool ones and it's nice because you don't have to do anything really to get them just go in here and pick one 
and your phone will download it and set it as background. So uh, it's a little slow now because I'm very far away from my network. <laughs> it's like a concrete wall between us, like in a bunker. Yeah, and it's, yeah, I'll stop that because I I, I don't want to wait. And you have this carousel here. You can come to all your different menus and and home screens and yeah, yeah stuff. And your yeah weather application as well. Uh, and and what I was gonna get to was the contact carousel. It's really nice. This one here. You can just scroll through all your contacts like with a flick of your finger. Also those vid widgets on your screen are they're really nice. Like those are apps um, and this is the profile and and the this is Bluetooth, very simple. And you have Wi Fi offline uh, profile and the phone here and here's the keyboard for phone. Um, and well, the very last thing is that it, there are themes for this as well. So I have one called Black Theme, which applies to the the rest of the native menus that aren't um, changed here. For example, messages. When you're gonna uh, type a message uh, here, and you, I wanna, I wanna edit this. You see those buttons are are not as usual, so it's yeah, it's it's very nice, very nice, very nice me message as well. So I suppose uh, that's uh, about all I have. Um, but I really. Uh, I really have to recommend this app because it is really good. Um, the only bad thing about it is the price, and I'll still say it wor it's uh, worth it because well, I paid for it, so I guess it. Uh, <laughs> I hope it is. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure about gravity. Um, that's more up to the individual to decide if it's worth it or not. It's not worth it for me. Um, but I'm sure it is for someone else. So um, I'll, I'll say I'll say um, good night.